Welcome, Welcome back, back Catskill. Catskill. This is Alex and Adriana coming at you right here, right now with, with this, this week's news. news. Lock in and stay tuned to, to hear, hear the upcoming stories. stories. We hope you all had a great week. The National Honor Society will host the American Red Cross Blood Drive. Save life, give blood. Catskills Honor Society is hosting the Red Cross Blood Drive in the Catskill High School Gymnasium. Thursday, November 2nd from 10 to 4 p.m. All students and community members are encouraged to make donations for this important cause. The National Honor Society Red Cross Blood Drive at the CHS Gym on Thursday, November 2nd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Please support this important life-saving event. Seniors are beginning to submit college applications and job applications for their post-grad plans. As those plans are made, each student will have a flag posted on their bulletin board to show your plans for college or work. Let's celebrate the class of 2024. Go Cats! The Library and Media Center is looking for book suggestions to fill the shelves. Complete the survey to make your suggestions. Catskill High School is proud to announce Alessia Salerno as the September Student of the Month. The Tray of the Month was responsibility. Congrats, Alessia! There will be a college fair on October 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Dutchess County Community College, a good way to begin your college search. Here's Tegan and B with information about our school's Creative Writing Club. The Creative Writing Club meets in room 242 with Ms. Ribsman on the first and third Thursday of every month from 220 to 255. This club is a place to create new stories and expand on your writing abilities. Every meeting, Ms. Ribsman gives her students a new prompt that they can choose to follow or get started on their own creative story. If you are interested in creative writing, come join us on October 19th in room 242. Last week was our senior boys soccer night. Here's Kobe with the report. The Catskill boys soccer team celebrated their senior night. There are 15 seniors on the squad. The players were honored and their families were there to celebrate along with them. The boys have been playing amazing this season. They have only two losses and are looking to go far in sectionals. Congratulations to the boys soccer team. Go get them in sectionals. Kobe. Now over to Scott and Aubrey for lunchtime trivia. Hey Scott. Hey Aubrey. What's our question this week? Our question this week is how many pounds of candy corn are produced each year? Who am I here with? Nala. What grade are you in? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> your question. <laughs> Alright, and your question is how many pounds of candy corn do you think is made every single year? Like a million? 35 million. Oh, I was close. Yeah, you were, really, you close. were close. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I here with? Mrs. Maggio. And your question is, how much candy corn do you think is made every single year? I'm going to say about 6 million. 35 million. Wow. Congratulations to Mr. Smith, our new athletic director. He is a veteran elementary teacher, coaches the varsity golf team, and serves as the coordinator for the Patroon Conference. He brings a ton of experience to the position. The staff basketball game will take place on Wednesday, November 8th at 6 p.m. in the CHS gym. Admission is $5 for adults and $3 for students and seniors. Get your tickets before they sell out. The Columbia Green Out of the Darkness Walk will take place this Sunday, October 15th at Dutchman's Landing, starting at 9.30 a.m. with the walk heading out at 11 a.m. Please come support this important community event. There will be an Out of the Darkness Community Walk in Catskill on October 15th at Dutchman's Landing. Check-in time is at 9.30 a.m. and the walk start time is at 11 a.m. The Out of the Darkness Community Walk is a journey of remembrance, hope, and support. It unites our communities and provides an opportunity to acknowledge the ways in which suicide and mental health conditions have affected our lives and the lives of those we love and care about. So come join us for a walk to remember. 
Questar 3 BOCES is having an open house on Thursday, October 19th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. The Troy, Hudson, and Durham schools have all different courses and will be open to this event. If you're looking to join Questar next year or want to see what it's about, please consider coming. We personally do the Agriculture Science Program at the Durham location. You can come meet our teacher and our animals. Hope to see you there. <laughs> nice job, girls. Here's Andrew and Stevie with this week's weather. What's, What's up, Catskill? Catskill? It's Andrew and Stevie. And here's, here's your weekend, weekend weather. weather. Today's the perfect Friday the 13th. We'll be expecting a low of 44, a high of 61 with great sunny skies. Saturday will be a low of 45 and a high of 59 with partly cloudy skies. On Sunday the 15th, we'll be expecting a low of 45, a high of 58 with more cloudy skies. <laughs> Time for the weather joke of the day. What does a cloud wear under his raincoat? What? Thunderwear. <laughs> well, that was a good one. Come on, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's, That's all, all for, for this weekend. weekend. See, See you next week, week and, and go, go Cats. cats. Here's Stevie with this week's updates from Mr. Shaw. Hey, Catskill High School, it's Mr. Shaw. Interims were just posted and we are now in week six of quarter one. Please stay on top of your work and make sure everything is done to stay current in your sports and activities. Full sports are almost completed. Make sure again that you talk to your coaches and get those last minute practices in to stay current for sectional or championship play. Also, next Tuesday, we have an assembly called Sweethearts and Heroes coming to the high school from 8 to 9.30. We're super excited to bring them to you so you can hear what they have to say. And next Friday, we have PD Day. So guess what? School for us, but no school for you. We'll see you next week. Have a great day, week, and weekend. And of course, as always, go Cats. Thank you. Now for the riddle of the week. Congratulations to Stevie Arp on winning last week's riddle, which was... How can you spell cow in 13 letters? And the answer was... C-O-W. <laughs> okay. That's, That's all for now, Catskill. I'm Alex. And I'm Adriana. We'll, we'll see you next week. Cats can and cats will. will.